okay, just jumped in and Dylan is on boggles. We don't see that too often here. I'll see if I can get somebody to join me. I believe this is game one. I'll just confirm that. Okay, so we're in, into game two now. Uh, Dylan took game one, so Boggles took down... Boggles took down... Uh, looks like Scred, yeah. The, the problem here for Scred, he's got to resolve a Blood Moon ASAP to try and cut off the mana, and then come up with a series of chump blockers. So there's the Blood Moon, so... Dylan's going to be restricted now to only green spells but you can see he's got the seal of primordium is going to be able to take care of that blood moon i think this is going to be another tough one for tyler storm breath dragon can turn this into a straight up race but i think it's a race that he's going to lose make sure I've got this stream going yeah why is my stream saying offline oh, okay I've got a delay on it that's right I'm about to be joined by Devin Sowers in commentary. Jump in here. But I suspect this match is not long for the world as we see the Priscilla Primordium there. What did he play for this turn? Yeah, so he's playing Magma Jets and trying to somehow race this one. But if we look at... Um, Dylan's hand, he can seal a Primordium, the Blood Moon on, on the instep here, and then he's going to be able to cast the a number of options. Gedic Teague, for example, is going to shut down. Shut down his ability to play Storm Breath if he chooses to go that way. So this is an interesting one because he played the the chandra tortured defiance which is going to put to 10 10 in a damage race but and then it will give dylan sort of a uh, moment of pause do i take the chandra or do i continue going to the face Chandra reveals a blood moon but can't play that obviously so Tintin he, he didn't crack the seal of primordium there which is a bit surprising <laughs> so now we're up to a 6-2 so does he he just goes straight to the face yep so he can produce a blocker here um, Tyler bolt him to his face he can storm breath here He's actually one point of damage short of lethal, I believe. He's going to Storm Breath, but he's got to use the Storm Breath as a blocker. He might just be able to sneak this one, actually. I oh, know, because uh, Dylan actually has a Path to Exile. Uh, path to Exile can't hit uh, Storm Breath Dragon. That's a big one, yeah. Pr Primordium now, he can, even if he Primordium is a Blood Moon, he's not going to be able to be able to get the Storm Breath Dragon out the way of the Path to Exile. So here's the play. What's he going to do? Another Horizon Canopy.
swings in. So th this has got actually this is tr um, trample. So it's going to trample through the damage. Is is this six? Oh no, sorry, I thought it was eight two. Is he's going to trade here, take two damage, drop to two. So now can Tyler find a way to push through? He's got, he's got one card in hand, which is a Koth. He needs to push through seven damage on this turn. Wait, why did Boggles not die? Did he? Oh, the, the Umbra. That's right. Oh, yeah. So this is a this is a tough one. He's kind of on anger of the gods or bust. So he's going to get another chance here to plus Chandra. It's anger of the gods or bust. It's bust a mountain. So Screed will go down to Boggles. And we're going to head to Legacy. They had already played their um, their standard match, so I have to I have to find out the result of that. But uh, Modern is two nil to Dylan, and see where these guys are playing east or west. This is a West matchup. I know Standard went to game, to three games, so we'll, we'll find that result out in just a moment. We're just waiting for the legacy to be uh, put together. This is going to be the last match of the of the competition. There have been a number of server issues uh, getting this match completed as well. Yes, yeah, Scred. Uh, Tyler just posts in the chat that Scred got wrecked in that one it's a, it's, a, it's a tough matchup I used to play Scred quite a fair bit and they need to resolve the Blood Moon to shut off the um, shut off the lands quick smart and um, and then get an anger of the gods to clean the board up because once they start getting the Totemamas it's really tough This is Tyler's debut uh, debut against a Division 1 player. Tyler's, I think he spent two seasons in Division 2. Of course, he's the uh, the new player league moderator. He's in charge of the new players league. So he's got, and he's also a group moderator now as well. So he's got a fair bit on his hands, but still finding time to, to play some league matches. But uh, I, I have spoke. I know I've spoken to Tyler a fair bit, and I know Legacy is his format, so he'll be looking to put in a good shift here. His problem, though, is that I believe Dylan also considers Legacy his format. So we'll see who can get the win here. Both uh, I know Dylan. I've tested with him a bit. He he does like to change it up and play some different quirky sort of decks. So we'll see what he's going to run with today. Uh, Tyler traditionally is on the, the, I think it's Omni Show they call it. That's the deck that he played at uh, SCG Dallas. As we're just waiting for them to start now, I've got that annoying opt there. Get rid of that.
Just waiting for the start. <coughs> uh, Devin Sowers is coming, I meant to be coming to join me for this one, hopefully. See if he can get in there. Not quite sure what the delay is here. Interesting, we're 136 players, and this is the only match that is either waiting to start or started. Let me just check and see what the delay is here. It's um, entertainment provided by my daughter. Alexa, turn off living Yeah, everything seems to have ground to a halt here. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're up and running now. So Dylan Magic is at the top of the screen, and I'm not I'm not a legacy expert, so I'm not even, not even going to guess what that is. It, once I saw the mentor and the scrubland, but I've got not. Oh, hi Devin, I'm joined by Devin Sowers now. How are you? Okay, I think okay, I found the match. I did it. Yeah, Legacy has just started. Um, I'm not sure what your knowledge of Legacy is, but I'm looking at Tyler's deck, and I don't know what he's on there. <laughs> uh, this is... Is this the Mono Red Sneak Attack deck? Yeah, uh, Dylan's on Mono Red Sneak Attack, but yeah. Tyler's kind of thrown me off, having the Ballista and the Monastery Mentor in the same deck. With a Scrubland. He has previously played Omni Show, but uh, obviously it's not that this time. And this wasn't what he was playing last time. Uh, I don't know what he's playing. Yeah, uh, the oh, uh, actually, you know what? Ty Tyler normally plays. Oh, there's Blood Sun and Legacy. Actually, this deck was when I was at SCG Philadelphia. Everyone was talking about it, but wanting to build it. It looks very fun. You can see in response, yes, a sack is yeah flooded strand there. This blood sounds really cool because it draws you a card as well. And it's it's bonkers with city of traders. Yeah, unfortunately, he just had to sack his city of traders because it wasn't out in time. But he's going to be able to run out that sneak attack next turn. One, two. No, he's one short actually. Yeah, but Tyler, we're still gu guessing what's going on over that side. Oh, can you see their hands? Oh, uh, yeah, you, you can request to see their hands. So uh, you have to do it on both sides. Oh, right click at the top and bottom of screen and, and request hands. I'll there just. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this. Uh, is, is this like a sort so of. This is Bomberman, right? Is it Bomberman? Okay. I was going to say, it, like, it reminds me of that. Um, what's that other one? And, you know, that cheapo one that they play in. Uh, Cheerios for modern. Yeah. It's, it looks like a, a a legacy version of Cheerios. So if, if that's the case, then Chalice of the Void is not going to matter here. No, but Chalice on Zero next game seems really good. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, and, and the other problem for Dylan, he still has to find it. He needs a third land, but he also needs a target for through the breach or sneak attack. Uh, do you play much Legacy? Um, I, I didn't play much Legacy until I started playing the League last season. Yep. But I've... I've played quite a bit since then. Yeah, because I, I mean, I, I look at this deck um, that Tyler's playing. It, it looks cert certainly looks very viable, uh, but I don't see it played very often. So I wonder what the the deal is with it. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever actually played against it. I wonder if it's even on the MTG top eight lists. Yeah, cause I, I oh don't... yeah, it's on here. Lotus it's listed under a combo deck. Ah, oh, so actually, uh, another interaction you mentioned before. Uh, Tyler's going to be the one that's taking red... Uh, are you red-eyed Jedi? Yeah. It just says you lost connection. Yeah, I did just... <laughs> I did. Yeah, it, Tyler's actually the one taking advantage of the Blood Sun with City of Traders at the moment. And now, yeah. he's, now he's got an Ancient Tomb as well. Booger is very weird for me. Yeah, Blood Sun and City of Traders. That's really, it's super funny. Yeah, because I mean, no, normally you, you think of it as an advantage to the player that played the Blood Sun, but it's Tyler getting all the advantage at the moment. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Three, five, seven, nine, ten damage. That's a two-turn clock. And I think um, Tyler can actually... He's at 19 life. He can Even if it, some way for Dylan to... Through the breach of Emrakul next turn, he can survive that as well. He's not going to be able to do it, though. He needs two cards. He's only going to be drawing one. It's a Blood Moon, so he's going to concede here. So pretty fast um, legacy match first up. Turn three. Yeah, it's a there's a concession. So after Dylan took both standard and modern, so this is a, a welcome point for Tyler. Yes. But yeah, but I I really like the look of his deck. And they're just sideboarding now. So you, you haven't actually played against this deck. What did you, what did you say it's called? Bomberman. Let me just see if I can Google that. MTG Legacy. Bomberman. Oh, so there is a bit more to it than just um, Monastery Mentor. He's got... Looks like Trinket Mages, Ariok Salvages, Medellin Mages. This list has a Jace Vrin's Prodigy in there. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but Curidra and Alejandro are both muted. I don't know why. I'm back, sorry. Yep. I'm um, having a hard time staying connected to Wooger. Yeah, I, I think Wooger's kind of just being sent out into the wilderness to die now. I don't know if it's getting any more support. <laughs> but th they both said that they couldn't connect to DE. Yeah. I, I was on it all afternoon with no, without an issue. And there's another one, a .us server as well, that's seems to be running okay the, the curious thing here is the server's point version one d is running version two so there is a newer version so the wooger guys just haven't updated the server yeah i might not be able to watch i'll try one more time they're sideboarding for a very long time It looks like to bring in. 
Yeah, I'm looking. Disenchant. You probably want. Yeah, I'm looking at a really old list because this list that I'm seeing's got um, Sensei's Divining Top, so it's a bit outdated. Still sideboarding. Doesn't this thing have a limit on how long you can sideboard for? Two and a half. Oh, okay, they're, ba they're, they're back now. Uh, nothing going on there for Tyler. I think he's going to ship that one. Yeah, because I'd, I'd be interested with this deck to know if it's... Oh, you can see uh, Kozilek's Return has come in. He shipped it though. Oh, he's got the chalice, so he's going to be able to play this for zero. And Dylan at the bottom of the screen is on the play here. Oh, I made it. Okay. Chalice. Yeah, because I, I know in modern, the Cheerios deck is very, very fragile. Like, it, it gets disrupted quite easily. Right. I wonder if this deck is similar. We'll see how it beats a Chalice on zero. It doesn't look like Tyler has a way to win a game. Just bring up Tyler's hand. Um, he's got oh, his own chalice. I wonder what he's gonna intends to play his chalice on. Let's see. Dylan just passes a turn, so he's not going to play that chalice for zero. Dark confidant. Just play it, okay. Yeah, Dylan's, uh, I believe, his. his well, he can play the Trinosphere here if he wants. That sounds like it'll pretty much wrap it up, too. Yeah, um, Dylan's primary format is Legacy, so. Gotcha. He's got more idea what's going on here than I do. <laughs> Yeah, my expert analysis as Trindisphere seems really good. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I will see what Tyler can do here. Hey, there we go. Seal of Cleansing. He's just got to get to three mana to be able to cast it. Oh, he's conceded oh, already. Yeah, yeah. It's a very fast game too. Hopefully, um... Bomber, man. That's a, that's a cool deck though. I like it. <laughs> He didn't even see the chalice for zero there either. Yeah, but the, the, you would think that Dylan would chalice for zero. The, the, these guys spend more time sideboarding than, than the actual game lasts. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like legacy. Yeah. You definitely spend more time searching and shuffling than you do anything else in Paper Legacy. My ex-mage... I've got, just got a message from Tyler. Uh, Yeah, he, he says there's an issue here where X-Mage lagged and won't let him, me submit as it now thinks I have five of a card in my 75. What do I do? <laughs> yeah, there's all, all sorts of these really weird problems going on. That might explain why they're taking so long to sideboard. Just if anybody watches this video and they don't know what to do. Um, oh, actually there's five people watching at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Trey just says in the comments commentary, Bomberman was better before it got restricted. Interesting seeing it still being played. Uh, I, I'm, I'd be curious to know what the restriction was. I'm not a legacy expert. I, I know very little about legacy, Trey. So, um, if you could let us know what the the difference is now, 
Uh, but but just for those watching and that might be watching this, the way to resolve this is to um, if, if there's an issue like this, because two games have been played, uh, you would just restart both X mages and then uh, recreate the game. Some anybody, it doesn't matter. Just concede immediately so you can sideboard and then uh, play the game and whoever wins that game is the winner two games to one because the previous two games have been decided he does say that his issues are resolved now but sideboarding is taking it oh, okay yeah I, I think he said there's a lag in entering games as well that, that'll explain the slow sideboarding. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he says he's not sure he wants me to commentate his matches anymore because every time I do, he gets stomped. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm not seeing... I've been seeing... the last couple of days. Pauper? Yeah. I'm, uh... I'm playing a... The FNM tomorrow is that i'm going to is pauper so i've been yeah. playing a little bit of it yeah my, my lgs has got pauper as well tomorrow i i, I play occasionally online I was, I was tempted to go down tomorrow but i've got something on did they remake their game yeah but uh no i think it's bugged Uh, two, four, six, seven. Yeah, it's showing as six, 61. Hmm. Yeah, so, so they're going to... Uh, the game is a draw. Close the game. Yeah, so th they've just gone out. They're going to recreate the game. They're going to then concede immediately and and play it uh unfortunately particularly f for new players um this sort of crap is what turns people off x mage right and uh woog is as we said is going to die any day now it should actually be dead they said they're cutting it off january 1 then they said they're cutting it off january 31 it's now the first of february and it's still going um but i suspect this is this is looking borderline unusable. I don't I don't think I'd play my games on here. Then there's the server crash now. Hmm. Did the server crash for you as well? Yes. Yeah, I I think that they're going to try and change somewhere else. Let me just see. I think that the group server is also outdated. Yeah, it's shown version. Although it looks like um, Bob Dibbany sets draft. I don't know who Shrek is. Tony Wachell, Wachells is there, so that they might be getting prepared to play their matches. On the group server? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, just in the chat, I asked Trey, what's... Um, sorry for my... Del I, I actually put these streams on a, on a delay. I think it's five minutes. Just so that nobody oh, okay. nobody can play and um, watch the stream at the same time. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> so, so I'm a bit slow replying to the chat things, um, but 
Zolitres has said he's guessing the top, and that that makes sense. Um, since he's dividing top band from from the Bomberman list. I don't see any matches actually underway between those two yet. Someone just asked in the Discord if they should be playing on D. You can play on the group server. Yeah, anywhere they want. That's Curedra, Kir who's in our Discord commentators channel, but is muted. Yeah, and that same person that's uh yeah, yeah you uh Kiri, Kiri Drew, you, you can play the matches anywhere you want any server any time uh just to re need to report the score that's all the the, the only reason we're trying to co coordinate at the moment is because we're trying to record but it's um it's difficult when the servers seem to be playing up for different people and they're fine for others But these guys, I don't know what they're doing. that will be an interesting showdown but if it's let me just check if it's those two playing because um it is yeah bob and tony are scheduled to play uh tony won division two last year i believe and bob wow. bob won division one and in the, in the draw they ended up in the same group which I, i'm calling west the the, the the name is still open but nobody's put forward a a better one or any one at this stage so it's east and east and west at the moment i suppose we could oh, go for the two divisions yeah yeah okay okay i don't think people particularly care i i, did, I didn't want to call <laughs> i didn't want to call them division one and two because that uh implies you know one's better than the other okay so we're, we're running with east and west at the moment uh let me see because i think you got put in the east uh, i'm in two East, yeah, you're up against Jason Clark this week. Yeah, I think we're playing on Monday. Yep, uh, and you've got Emerson and Oliver, the two Division One heavyweights. Oh yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> Oliver's the one that nobody ever wants to face because he always wins until two weeks to go in the season. Uh, and then he just loses. <laughs> em Emerson always finishes top three in everything. Yeah, I, I don't know what these guys are doing now. I'll, I'll PM them and find out. Oh, Bob's joined joined the um, stream chat now as well. They're saying talking about cockatrice. So. Yeah, I, I think in terms of you know one being crap and one being good, I I don't think the problem is X Mage. The problem is the server. And for some reason, I don't I don't know why, but um, Wooga runs cockatrice servers as well. And they chose to shut down their X Mage servers and keep their Cockatrice servers open. I've actually I've never used Cockatrice. I've only ever used X Mage. I, I looked at it and as soon as I saw that you have to manually resolve rulings, I said I'm, I'm not going to play that because I know how many scummy dead shits there are on X Mage, and I can only assume they're going to be on Cockatrice as well. And I'll try funny things where they cheat to win. 
I'd rather some, something there to enforce, oh, force the rules. rules you have to do everything like manually. Mm. Yeah, no thanks. I'm, I'm super lucky though. My X-Mage, it's always bad the day after an update. I, other than that, I usually don't have any issues. Yeah, I, I just don't use it for probably the first two or three days. And, and that's just by coincidence, normally because I just have something on. But, uh, you know, I, every day we see people in the, in the group, oh, so-and-so's not working, you know, what's wrong, blah, blah, blah. But it, it, I just seem to be uh, immune from it. Like I, I mentioned in there, I was on DE all afternoon without an issue, and I actually played... I, I before I came here, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the only reason I came here was because I, <clears throat> I just had my dinner. I thought I'll play a quick game before I head upstairs, and then I noticed that they were playing, and, oh, I might come and commentate something. And now it's like quarter to nine, and I probably should be going soon. But I, I think I'll give these guys another three or four minutes to get their act together, and then uh, I think I'll cut the stream. Uh, Tyler did say he's restarting his laptop. So you said that your your local LGS has proper. Yeah, the, um, they run proper modern and EDH. So every Tuesday they have EDH night, which I always go to, uh, largely because it's free. <laughs> but, huh. but but uh, on Friday nights they alternate. So one week it's EDH, one week it's proper, one week it's modern, and um, this week it's proper. Um, I haven't actually been in there to play competitively yet because it's uh, they charge ten bucks to play. And I think Ooh. I think ten bucks is a bit much to play pauper three rounds of pauper, yeah. um, but this week I thought I'm, I thought I might be social and head down there. So I told them, yeah, I'll be down there. Then I got home and my wife said, no, we've got something on that night, so I'm not going to be down there. <laughs> and and so I, I, you have a pauper deck then? I, I've got a couple. I actually, I kind of, I'm just a hoarder. Like I just buy cards. So. Okay. I, 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 I pretty much could build any pauper deck that exists. Um, I have all the, pa the pauper cards, and any any time something pops up on uh, MTG Goldfish or wherever, uh, is oh, is this good in pauper? I'm just like bang, buy it, uh, and just keep it in a folder. So I've got a big folder full of pauper cards. But I, I have two main decks sleeved up that I usually play with just casually. But but if I was um, going to an event, I'd take one of those two anyway. I spiced up my deck for this week. I've been yeah. playing just Mono Green Elves. Yeah. And um, I'm splashing black for the new, the new card from Rivals. A new elf. No, it's not. It's a three drop sorcery for one black. Uh, each opponent loses one life for each creature control. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember uh, Professor talking about that. Yeah, I've only got my main decks that I just play the. Is it Blitz? I just think, I, yeah. I just think it's, a, it's just an awesome deck. Like, yeah. if you had no money, you could take that along to a modern event and be a bit competitive with it. Um, and I also have a Blue Black Reanimator. L l largely, largely because I play Reanimator and Legacy, so um, it trans oh, okay. translated right. across quite easily. But Pauper, I mean, it's Pauper's got staunch, um, like, fanatical supporters, but I, I actually find it's a bit boring. It's People talk about its diversity and stuff, but it's, it's the same sort of three or four decks that everyone seems to have. You know, Mono Blue, Delver, Is It Blitz, Delver, some sort of Delver, some Stompy. <laughs> and, and so you, you don't get much... Um, you do, you there are don't... a lot of double decks, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to give these guys two more minutes and I'm going to cut it off. It's 8.45. I think it doesn't take that long to restart a laptop and start XMH. Popper is the only format that I think it's okay to play in the Tron lands. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah, there's these kind of yeah, 
like because like, modern's my main format so yeah, tron yeah. tron lands are the th sort of the cards that just bug me the most i, I can put up with pretty much anything but they just really peeve 